Okay, so I just jumped in my car. It's about a two hour drive to Markham to go to Rapido and pick up the packages and find out what's going on with this other package. Traffic's really good right now, so if the GPS says two hours, we should be about two hours. Talk to you guys in a bit. Well, good day, Model Railroaders. Made the trip all the way down to Markham. Gonna jump on into the Pito trains, pick up a couple boxes that I ordered. So, I'll run in and grab those, come back out, show you how big the boxes are. Talk to you in a minute. All right, we'll just take a walk inside Rapido, pick up the box that we need. They're pretty busy in here, so. And me watching them watching me. Alright, so we got our, got our box. We'll head on out. Alright, we're finally home. Get this car all nice and parked up. Get that box upstairs. Let's see what I got from Rapido. As we can see, it's a pretty big box from Rapido. I already took the tape off it when I was at Rapido just to make sure everything was in the box. And it was, but I haven't actually looked at it. So, we're going to move around to the other side of the box, start taking out what's inside. We have the F40PH-2D DCC and sound by Via Rail and it's in the Canadian 150 paint scheme number 6454. Put a bit of a glare on there. Again number 6454. There's two of those. 6402 and 64402 so it's all the via rail F40PHs but they're done in the Canadian paint scheme but hold on this box is a lot bigger than that and I guess this is the choice of picking up from Rapido as I don't get a whole bunch of peanuts in my box just some really big styrofoam pieces. They don't like to come out either. What comes with those is a display case. Glass on top and a nice wooden base. So, I'll hit pause on the video, get a knife out, and we'll start getting one of these open so you guys can see it. Be back in a minute. Okay, so the display case comes all wrapped in plastic. Comes in a box, it's all taped up. And comes with a big chunk fire 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 pone in it. Comes with a big chunk of styrofoam in it. But when you get it all out, there it is. It's a chunk of wood. And their glass case is. Yeah, sounds like plastic to me. 
but maybe I just misunderstood when I thought it said glass, maybe it said plastic. I can see the resemblance in the wording. The locomotive themselves with Rapido come all taped up. Maybe I'll try it at the other end. It's just like Christmas. They fold over the ends and tape them. But, oof, that doesn't really do anything because it's still all sealed up. So I took a knife, opened up the other one. Box with a glare on it. The manual in English and in French. Um, no pictures, so I might be in trouble. Oh, speaking of pictures, though, blown up parts diagram. But I think if it's called a blown up parts diagram, what you got to do is watch this video and then magnify it a few times. And that'll give you your parts list because I can't read that even with my glasses on. That's all right. We don't care about a parts list. What we're looking for is that right there. Via Canada hired Rapido to do 150 in this paint scheme. And they did 150 in this paint scheme. One total of 300 locomotives only. So here's number 6402. Ottawa, Winnipeg, Montreal on this side. Moncton, Saskatoon, and where I live, Kitchener, on the other. No extra parts. So we'll get this slid out for the very first time. You guys are seeing this. It's not live, but close enough. Wow, that is a heavy unit. Just amazing detail. Look at the roof. Three chime, two chime, Sinclair antenna, air conditioning units, generator. Wow. Separately applied grab irons. Really see them on the front. Nice gray paint scheme on the front. Nice Canada 150. The paint, paint is amazing. They dig great detail on this. And the underside, he's got a couple of the air tanks or air reservoirs, gas tank. Wow. Okay, so that's 6402. I'll be right back with the other one. Okay, so there's the one in its case. Definitely need a piece of track under it. And right out of the box for the first time. 6454. So they did 150 of the other road number they've done 150 of this road number Toronto Jasper Churchill Vancouver Halifax and Edmonton Wow 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 like even the door on the back has the window very you can feel the grill work in the grills this one's got a beacon light. Oh, the other one did too. Wow. 
Looks like it's got lots of lighting details down there. Headlights. Oh, we'll take a good look at that later on. That'd be the headlight on the back or the rear light. Super, super looking locomotives. I don't even do passenger trains. But, like, paint, paint job is awesome. Hopefully that stayed in focus. Okay, see you in a bit. Well, there you have it, guys. Just a nice close, close-up look at the new Rapido 150 paint scheme locomotives that they did in limited edition. The only thing that I see missing so far, and I'm going to go through all the paperwork, is like an authenticity card or something that says this was like the first locomotive out of 150, or this is the hundredth locomotive out of 150, or even the last one, 150 out of 150. That would have been a bang on job right there, but we'll look for that. We didn't do the sounds, we didn't uh, test it on track or anything else, but uh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna look these over really good, and then maybe I'm gonna do a live feed, and we'll get these set out on some track, do some sounds, and ask what you guys want to see. Uh, not quite sure what time. Maybe I'll try for tonight. Uh, it's Friday night, so maybe we'll try for around 8 o'clock Eastern. Okay, till then guys. Talk to you later.